because I mean that that gets you to the point where you can edit those now. Um, so like down here too, I would probably go ahead and just now that I'm I'm pretending I'm at the mixing stage and we've sure. got all the tracks, so I'm just gonna go through and keep doing this flatten thing. So there's a flatten and merge one as well. If you had done like a comp and you had several takes working, mm -hmm. um, flatten and merge would just like print the it printed all as one, print so you wouldn't you... see you wouldn't see the edit. So. Got it. Um, a lot of times I prefer not to do that because I would like to remember where my edits are mm -hmm. and if I need to adjust the crossfade ever. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to just embed it because I'm usually not doing that much detail work at this stage. Like right. that for me usually comes later on. Once right. I've got the sound of it, I'll go through and like make sure all my crossfades are right and I don't have any weird sounds showing up. So I just don't want to forget they're there. Um, Okay, so, all right, now we have guitars too. So let me check your um, guitar group here. Right, so it doesn't have the editing one selected. Are these, so guitar one. <laughs> here, let me take a look again. Which one was I after? Oh. Okay, so yeah, so oh, okay, so here's a good picture. You've got a summing stack that looks like it only has one thing in it. This might have been you the one that, that we this were like trying, we were trying to, to. Okay, we were trying to experiment <laughs> with it, and we were not getting so, it the way we wanted. So you just had two mics on the guitar. You had a condenser yeah. and a fifty-seven, and then yeah, so you can see that one when we solo it. We're just getting the the MXL. It looks like so. In this case, um, yeah, you can see this is still going to stereo out, whereas this one is going to bus two, which mm. is here. Right. Um, guitar. Guitar um, so quick fix for that is you can just drag this up into it, and oh, now okay. it uh, changed it to the bus. So we can we can reorder them now that they're in. Nice. So you can kind of see this folder thing dragging down. Right. Um, same thing if you need to clean up the look of things, you can hide it. it usually doesn't make that big a difference but now again that's no, all no, no. happening yeah, as like an ox so you can do any kind of instead of having to like, copy your settings between both mics you can you can just process them together that's nice that's yeah we were um, having those which helps a lot so um i'm gonna go ahead and do the flatten thing because i didn't select the editing one it's making me do it on the editing tracks just because I wanted to make sure it was actually all one guitar right. and not like multiple guitars that were all going through a bus because I haven't okay. seen how the session was set up. Okay, so we got a Strat, um, so we had room mics as well as a couple close mics, yeah, so we got one, four feeding four, into that one. Okay, right. so same thing, I'm just going to click the bottom and then shift click to the top. Just to oh, but you them grabbed all. one of them from the... Oh, yep, you're right. Yes, because that's guitar three. Okay, cool, thanks. So, okay. four of those, um, I do this all the time, so it's Command-Shift-D, but you can right-click and then and do the summing stack. Um, but yeah, you just need to have all the tracks selected that you want going okay. into it. I think and we then were running into problems because we were trying to select the tracks on the mixer um, oh, view on rather the... than the track view. Interesting. And it wasn't, and I think that's, huh. it wasn't doing it then for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I can't remember what happens if you do that. It might be the problem. This is <clears throat> usually where I do most of my work. I mean, I'll, I'll pull up the next review yeah. as needed, but um, but generally, I'll just for, this, for this kind of thing, this works pretty well. I see. Um, so we can also, I think I can just select all of these and flatten it um, simultaneously. Oh, no, it's going to make me do it on all of them. That's fine. So again, that can be avoided just by grouping it okay. and doing, making sure you have the edit selected so that any of your edits are happening to everything in the group. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you'll probably need to do much more. Although, no, let's go ahead and set you up. Let me show you what I would do here. Because you have this multi mic and you've got four different mics, if you needed to do a timing edit on one, you would want that to translate to everything. Mm -hmm. So, you got, that's your Guitar 2 group. So you're just going to open group settings and then select the editing one. Um, I'm not going to... It always sets it up to do volume and mute and like pan and solo and all these things uh -huh. for your groups. I think that's kind of 
I drag because I'm I mean you might want to stay in your room like right. somewhere you might want to do that so yeah, totally. I usually just do um the editing in my you. groups and like if for some reason you really want other things moving together you can do it but that's mm -hmm. usually all I would want so now if you end up wanting to do any cuts or anything um those will all move together so got look like the same yeah, those are the same. Same. Swell. Yeah, same performance. Just two mics, okay. So we'll go ahead and put those two. Um, looks like that was left over from something else. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and just do the same thing here. Looks like none of these are doing anything anymore. Yeah, I think the these look like maybe from an attempt at trying to get a ox thing going. Maybe. Yeah, I think we also maybe had a bunch of leftover stuff from the like the original <coughs> set, the original session, which was just gotcha. to lay down the basic track. Oh, okay, and this looks like it got. Um, so when you're in the mixer view, um, you can do, you can create a track, uh -huh. and it'll move it to the the mix window and looks like that happened at some point uh, so that's okay. just your main output Got visible it. in this window um so you can hide that if you want can, yeah what i don't know is if that's going to hide it i don't think i don't think they're linked yet you still have your main output okay. visible there so anyway just cleaner easier to look at now right. <laughs> um so that was good track two i guess we didn't right that was the one you So what is this guitar overhead? Did we we didn't fix this one yet. We fixed guitar three, but not this one. I'm not sure what that one goes. Is to. that like a? Is that like a room? They're all together, so I'm guessing. Yeah, it's just like yeah, I don't a room mic or something. Must be, must be. It's just yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe it was going to be a stereo pair, or maybe this is the other part of stereo pair. Maybe, In any case, I'm gonna drag them up maybe. into that. Um, just dragging them into remember. that little track stack there. I think you're right. I think this group. was supposed to be a stereo pair. So maybe this is like a. It's got the mic specified, but oh, we call no. it. I mean, it's a lot quieter. Wait a minute. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be that one. <laughs> 